<laughs> What's up guys? So I'm gonna try to make this video quick, same as always. But um I've got a few things I want to talk about that I've been seeing and I see this all the time just because it's tax season uh, them kind of things but uh, selling cars as is you know are they really as is you know how does that work what happens when you get sued this and that well as far as selling cars as is it, it's gonna depend on your state I know California has a uh, 30-day warranty that they uh, do make you uh, you know give the customers if you're a dealer but uh, it's gonna be about being a dealer and selling them as is and being a uh, flipper so I'll start with being a flipper just because it, it's a lot easier um, so when you're flipping cars most of the time you're jumping the titles you know that's illegal everybody knows that's illegal but people still do it I did it for many years before I got caught I'm glad I got caught because now I'm a dealer <laughs> but uh, yeah when you're flipping the title and uh, you're selling it with an open title you're not the registered owner this and that you've got to be more careful selling them as is uh, there's a group I'm a part of it on Facebook and uh, where the guy sold a vehicle uh, to a lady and then the lady is trying to sue him well she's saying she's gonna sue him this and that and he went on the group asking, you know, what his suggestions are, or what his options are. And um, one of the things that I, I keep asking is, you know, did he sell the car legally? As far as was the car in his name? If it was in his name, then you know, if the car is as is. The lady bought it, and there's really nothing she can do. If the car was not in his name, and he jumped the title like most people that flip cars do, I know he had it for a while, so he might have registered it. Uh, this and that but if he jumped the title then that's a whole different situation just because it can turn from something small and simple to something way bigger the lady is saying it's gonna be about fifteen hundred dollars to fix a wheel bearing that's kind of crazy but you know uh, if he sold it illegally he jumped the title then I would contact that lady and let her know hey look it's not fifteen hundred dollars if it's a wheel bearing I would pay for the wheel bearing just to get the uh, customer, you know, just to make the customer happy or give the customer the money back. And that's only that's only for one reason. That's if it was done with an open title. You wasn't the registered owner. You didn't do the right thing, you know, as far as registering in the car. Uh, if you registered the car, you drove it, you know, it was yours. You was a legal owner and you sold it. Then it's as is, you know, you sold it. It's gone second part to this video is uh, selling them as is when you're a dealer so in my state in Tennessee um, all used vehicles are sold as is unless you purchase a service contract now that's buying it or well selling it as a dealer and a individual they're as is there's no three-day grace period there's no 30-day grace period and a lot of people mentioned the lemon law and the lemon laws for new cars so that's kind of pointless right there now when you're a dealer you've got all this paperwork that you, you make the customer sign and it's all there because it's required by the state and federal you've got a federal buyer's guide which is which tells the customer that the vehicle they're purchasing is as is and then on the back of that it tells the customer everything that can break or go bad on a used vehicle. I seen a post last night on Facebook where a lady bought a Nissan Maxima from a dealer, probably about 30 minutes from where I'm at. And uh, it was like a 04, 07 Nissan Maxima uh, for $3,000 cash. It wasn't a bad deal. You know, the car was priced right, had decent miles, but she put on there that she drove it for two days, I believe, or 48 hours. Well, that is two days, but, um, and then the car blew up. That's all she put on there. Uh, the car blew up down, uh, you know, close to her house. And um, she contacted the dealer and told him, hey, the car blew up. He told her, hey, you look, he gave her two different tow truck companies that could go pick the car up, take it to her house. 
never apologized or anything like that. Um, which he doesn't have to apologize, but you know, just depends on how you run your business. Now I've been a dealer for three months, I think going on four months now. And, uh, I have sold some cars that have messed up on people. And, um, I'll start out with, I mean, it's not many. I've sold probably like four or 500 cars. And maybe out of those I've had probably three cars that have had major issues after they were sold or, um, I'll say like three to seven cars. Uh, most of the things, you know, they go bad as little things. Alternators, batteries, radiators, this and that. Start out with one of the first uh, issues we had that cost us about probably like five bad reviews from one person. It was a lady that bought a Nissan Maxima. Well, you know, same as this lady. But it was a, um, it was an older, like a 04, 03. And, um, it was a cheap car. I mean, it was in terrible shape. It it really was. And I put that in the ad. I said, look, if you need a point A to point B car, this is it. Runs and drives. Well, the lady, she um, she came, she test drove it. Good 10, 15 minute test drive. Came back, purchased it. Very happy. Uh, a week later, she contacted me and told us that um, the car was shifting hard or that it was... Um, it just didn't feel right when she put it in drive it would kind of hit and um i messaged her you know i told her we'll take it to a shop see what they say the problem is and she did she took it to a shop you know she said that the uh they told her the transmission was bad on it so you know i told her you know it was purchased as is and there's nothing we can really do about it now as a dealer we have service contracts that we can sell and that's, uh, we've got a three month, 4,500 mile powertrain warranty through Cars Protection Plus that a lot of customers turn down. It's three months, protect, you, you know, if, you're, if your engine goes out, your transmission goes out, they help cover the, the repairs of the, whatever it is. And um, it's 99 bucks for the three month. It's 169 bucks for six months. And surprisingly, like 90% of customers turn that down. They don't wanna pay the extra. 100 bucks 200 bucks for a six month warranty i told that lady you know i felt bad i said look there's nothing that i can do but that warranty i can offer it to her and i did i told her look i'll give you the warranty i'll pay for it if it is a transmission just run it through the warranty company and um they'll fix it they'll help you fix it this and that i did i paid the hundred dollars and um got her the service contract and she took it to a different shop other shops said it needed motor mounts like basically all the motor mounts on it so the warranty company uh declined the uh, repair because they don't cover maintenance items or wear and tear items so um then she contacted me and she was i mean she was mad she was mad that they wouldn't put a transmission in her car and i told her look they're not going to put a transmission in your car if that's not what's wrong with it they told you, you need all the motor mounts. But the first mechanic that looked at it told her it was a, a transmission issue. But she wasn't happy with that. I feel like she just had buyer's remorse. Uh, it was like a $2,000 cash car. Had a whole bunch of miles. Paint was terrible. It, it was a bad car, but it was a good point A to point B car. Now, it needed all the motor mounts, not a transmission. But she left a, a bad review. She had about three or four family members leave us bad reviews, this and that. And it also depends on how the customer comes at the person or the dealer. You know, if somebody calls me and tells me, hey, you sold me a fucked up car and you need to give me my money back. I'm taking you to court, this and that. Then I just, I tell them, look, I'm sorry it messed up on you, but that's not how you should write me or call me or this and that. If you want to take me to court we can go handle it in court that's no problem <laughs> so treat your customers you know treat them right treat them how you would treat you know your family members or uh you know any, anybody that you knew also be honest if you know the car has a major issue send it to the auction you, you don't want to mess with a customer well you don't want to deal with a customer you know calling you blowing you up just because it had a major issue and you knew about it and you didn't disclose it when you're a dealer make sure 
you got all your paperwork in order and do everything right. If you know a transmission slipping on a car, after you drive it 20 minutes, tell the customer, hey, it's got transmission issues. You're buying it as a mechanic special. Put that on the bill of sale, put on there, you know, hey, it's, it's a piece of shit, but it's cheap. We also have uh, customers that ask us, hey, you know, is, is it, is the car a reliable car? Can I drive it to Florida and back? And, and I tell them, look, I've drove it an hour. I've drove it two hours. I've put 50 miles on it. I've put a hundred miles on it. I myself wouldn't drive it to Florida unless I've drove the car for a couple days and did regular maintenance to it. Cause believe me, if you tell them you can drive it to Florida and back, if they're driving it to Florida and they have a flat tire, they will blow you up and they will want you to pay for that tire. Now all this is on cash cars, selling them, you know, just cash out the door, um, cheap cars. Those are the ones that are, you know, people are gonna complain about. If y'all want me to make a video about how I handle my uh, buy here, pay here customers when they have mechanical issues, that's a whole different story because I mean, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> And, and I'm not saying it's a lot as far as, uh, you know, a lot of people having mechanical issues, but when you, you're in a, uh, in the buy here, pit, uh, pay here business, then, um, you, you're dealing with a lot of people who don't have a lot of extra money. So when the alternator goes bad, when a battery goes bad, when axles go bad, you know, th those kind of things can really affect their life. So if you're able to help them, then you can. I can tell y'all how, just uh, let me know, make sure to subscribe, comment down below if y'all want to see a video about that.